I'm going to share with you the simplest way to list your items for sale on eBay, gain exposure, and organize your entire collection all while only using one social app. So if you are new here, I'm Monica, I'm a boutique owner and a business coach and my channel is all about helping you become a boutique boss. Today I'm going to share with you an app that I have been using and loving and it's called the Snups app. So if you're not too familiar with the Snups app just yet, basically it's a social app where you can create your own shelves, you can post and organize all of your personal items like your shoes and your handbags, your makeup, and basically your entire closet and you can create a collection and you can share it with other people or you can can follow other people and get inspiration and see what's trending you can follow your favorite blogger and now they have a feature where you can list those same exact items for sale on eBay and I was so excited for this feature because you know I sell things online and I know how huge of a platform eBay is and that whole marketplace and the opportunity that eBay has I never really honestly took advantage of it because I didn't find that platform to be user friendly. Now experience that and still use a social app like Snup. So I wanted to take you guys along with me and show you exactly how you can list your items for sale using the app. Okay, so here we are in the Snups app and this is actually my profile. My username is at Monica Rose SF and if you don't have the app just yet, you can actually download it for free. I will leave a link down in my description box and that is where you can get the Snups app. So again, here is my profile. So I will just kind of give you a quick little overview of what the app is and how to use it. So here are my different categories and these categories are also known as shelves. So I created these and organized them. So I have my top pick casual dresses, I have boho style dresses, I have fall favorites. So again, these are just categories that I created and it's the perfect way for me to organize my inventory for my boutique. These are all of my boutique items and you can absolutely use this for your own personal personal items at home, so your own personal items in your closet. It's a great way to kind of see exactly what you have in your closet for every season or just kind of organize your entire wardrobe. And it's another way to also see what items I have for every season. So maybe I need to get more fall inventory and I just created an office chic blouses category and shelf. So let's go ahead and add a new item. So we're going to go ahead and click on that bright orange button right at the bottom. I'm going to show you how easy it is to list a new item. So let's go ahead and click on that. And here we can add a new item. We can take a picture of a new item or we can create a shelf. So let's go ahead and click on that little camera symbol there. And it takes us right to our camera on our phone. So I, this is my keyboard, obviously. So if you wanted to, you can actually just grab your item and take a picture of it right then and there. So for example, if I wanted to sell my Kate Spade wallet, I can go ahead and just take a picture of it and move on to the next steps of posting it. So it's really simple in that sense as well. But I like to go ahead and click on that grid button down at the bottom so that I can get my photos that I have already taken. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that grid button. And on my phone, this is my album. I, I like to create specific albums for my listings. And these two items here I need to post on my Snuffs app and on eBay. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose both of these items. And what the cool part of this is, is you can actually list multiple items simultaneously. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this dress that I'm gonna sell, or actually I like this photo better. This is gonna be my main cover shot. And I also wanna sell this blouse here. So I'm gonna click on those two listings first. Let's go ahead and click on done right at the top. And that arrow right at the bottom. 
and now I can start posting my items. So this is very simple, very self-explanatory. So here we have our title. So this is my off the shoulder palace dress. And it's called palace because I'm taking, this picture was taken in front of the Palace of Fine Arts in San Francisco. So that's why I uh, named it after that. So now we can go ahead and select a shelf. So I can select one that I have already made or I can create a new shelf. So I'm going to put this dress in my top pick casual dresses category. Go ahead and click on done. And then we can just give a description. So. You can say, if this is something from your closet, you can say, gently used, great condition, Oop. great condition. You can say, the it's 100% cotton. You know, those uh, different terms that are gonna be helpful for a potential buyer. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in, I already have my pre-filled description. So I'm going to go ahead and put my description in. And right here on item details. Now this is optional. So we have a space for our public details. So anybody can see this. So Whatever you are posting, if it's a certain brand or it has a specific model or uh, it's when it was made so just depending on what type of item you're listing this is a great category to have because it's going to help you again keep track of all the details of your item now here at the private details this is great for your own personal use so you know if you have a serial number so if i were selling my kate spade wallet i can enter my serial number there or for me, since I sell boutique items, I can choose a quantity. So for example, I have six of these dresses and the purchase price, say it was $20 just for, 28 cents, $20 just for an example. And have all of your notes here so you can go back and reference. So I'm going to go back to my album on my phone. So click on that little plus button and click on the grid. And I'm going to add the rest of my photos for my first listing. So I have these two photos, oh, three photos. So all of these three photos are for that first listing. Go ahead and click on done, on next. Super, super easy. And now we can list this item for sale on eBay. So right at the bottom, list on eBay. And you do have to have created an eBay account prior because the entire transaction is taken care of over on the eBay side. So you can easily create an account with eBay and just sync it to your app. So I have already done that. So just a few more uh, selections you need to add. So the categories on eBay, this is under dresses. And then you can add the brand so you can choose from the popular brands on the list or you can type in your own. So I'm going to go ahead and put my brand, which is Monica Rose, San Francisco. And you can select the type and the size. So again, these are the same exact categories that are on eBay. It just makes it so much easier for you and it's more of a user-friendly, simple uh, platform to use. So you can also add the condition. So if it's a pre-owned item from your closet or uh, for me, it's a new with tags item. And the selling price, you can choose fixed or auction, just like on eBay. So again, the entire transaction is safely done through the eBay platform. So you do get paid through there as well. So you do get paid through PayPal. And your next step is just to choose the packaging size. So they give you a few examples here. So I'm gonna choose large since it does reference dresses. And for the shipping service, I normally go with the post office. So the USPS, priority mail. So go ahead and click next and list on eBay. And now at the same time, your item is going to also be on the Snuffs app, so you're gonna get more exposure that way as well. So if I go ahead and click on Next, again, remember in the beginning where you can add 
multiple listings at a time. So I can complete this listing and also add it as well. So if we go ahead and click on the Explore tab right at the bottom, you can see that my item that I just posted for sale is on the feed as well. So it's under the most recent items added. And I just got an activity, a notification right at the bottom. It's just letting me know that both of my items are for sale on eBay. Just a quick overview of the Explore tab. You have your recent items added. At the top, you can click on trending items. So this is where you can get inspiration. You can follow other people's shelves. You can see other people who are trending, trending members right at the bottom. Or you can discover new updates and, and discover new people and new styles and new listings. We quickly head over to my profile page. As you can see, I have my top pick casual dresses. So if I click on that shelf, you can see my listing that we just posted. So if I click on my listing, those are all my photos and the entire description. Again, the entire transaction is done over on eBay, but I can actually interact with potential customers right on the app. I can see how many people are following or watching my shelf. So I have over a thousand people watching my top pick casual uh, blouses shelf and I get messages over at the activity tab right at the bottom so you can negotiate prices or if people have questions on a certain item I can have a conversation with them right on the app so I love that social aspect of it all so again that is how you can list your items for sale on eBay all at the same time while using a social app on snaps so as always, I hope you found this video helpful. You know, coming from someone like me who is completely new to eBay but still would like to experience that whole type of platform, being able to use an app that is so user friendly and you still have that social aspect, it's just a great way to see if selling on eBay is something that works for you. So again, if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know and in the comments, I would love to follow you on Snuff. So go ahead and leave your username down in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot wait to see you next time.